Sailor Moon Collectibles News and Reviews. Sailor Moon. Hello everyone and welcome to a video that I hope is not too too long. We are going to cover a lot of different figures. Why do I have so many here? Because they just released the anime color versions of the Inner Sailor Senshi and these are the brand new boxes. So let's start here. Sailor Moon originally came in this box. <laughs> Sailor Mercury originally came in this box. These are the new boxes. The figures are going to be different colors, slightly different. You're looking a little green there, Mercury. And Bandai has re-released them with these anime colors. That means they're probably more matte. These are other recolors of Sailor Moon that have been made in the past. So using the same model, the exact same plastic model, we have 2013, 2014, this is 2020, and we had these two releases in the middle. This is imposter version of Sailor Moon, which is actually supposed to be the villain Zoisite, but really all you've got to do is color Sailor Moon slightly differently, make a new box, boom, you got a whole new toy. This is the original anime color Sailor Moon release. This is not the first time they've released an anime color version of Sailor Moon. These also have differences, and I'm gonna try to cover all the differences as best I possibly can. If you don't have time, the major differences are as follows. The original release of Sailor Moon had the most different face plates. It also included a disc for her Moon Tiara action. This does not. There are less accessories between these two. There are more accessories in this anime color release than in this one. Flip the boxes around. This is what we're looking at in terms of the backing. This was a special con release in 2014. And this was a San Diego Comic Con release? Yes, it was San Diego Comic Con and the year was 2015. Bandai has re-released this figure four times and with less accessories. But to get this, you're probably gonna pay premium top dollar, same with this, and these are gonna be a retail price right now. You can find them at Entertainment Earth, where you can use code Sailor Tort for 10% off in stock items. We got Mercury. You can already tell that the colors are gonna be different on that. The other side, here's the top. Ah, here's some Sailor Moon. Interesting graphical choices there. That new box really is very tasteful. I don't know. What do you like better? So these two are going to get freshly opened and the others are kind of the way I've set them up. So if you're new here and you haven't seen any of my previous reviews on the older versions of these, I just want you to know that I believe that these are overpriced, cheaply made, and small. This small. That is a regular Pop Funko. And they're charging you 55 just about for these. I don't know about you, but I am much happier buying figurines that are stiff. They have one pose. They don't have parts that you can lose because that's the other thing. Here's the backing in the box, just so you know. You can use that for pictures. It um, slides out. I can immediately tell that her skin tone is a lot better. But as you can see, she has one, two, three, four faces total to compare. My original, box. There's a face jangling in there because I'm using a special face on Sailor Moon that doesn't come with the original. But all you need to see is one, two, three, four, five, six faces. Comes with a Moon Tiara disc. Two different types of moon sticks. One of them I'm just actually using on my toy. I really hope that's not missing. Oh boy, here we go. It's in there. Great. Ziploc bags. They will literally be your best friend with these type of figures. This is an exclusive crying face that only came on the first edition of this box. Yes, there is a different other version of this that comes in this same box, but if you're missing this gold sticker, two interchangeable face parts, winking and crying expressions included. Winking face at the top and crying face only come on the first edition. So you might have a version of this that instead of coming with six faces, listen, this is the most faces. It is the first edition. This is the 2020 anime color edition. It has fewer things. That's all I'm trying to say here. I feel good about the skin tone. The colors are definitely matte, a lot like the Figuarts minis that were released pretty recently. 
Let's put her next to the, oh shit. The heart eyes face comes with Sailor Uranus of all things. Well, these certainly look like two completely different figures. Get your stuff together, cause this video is getting complicated AF. I think this is the superior anime color version. That's just my preliminary opinion. Here's my girl. This is the first anime color edition. This hella ugly box. What's up, Sailor Moon? You got some yellow hair. And the new anime color version. Oh, oh, that red is definitely not red anymore. Okay, so we're looking at school bus yellow hair versus banana yellow hair, orangey hair. Oh, those bows are atrocious. I really already, <laughs> ooh, the skin tone though. What I'm holding in my right hand is the 2020 Anime Color Edition. And the skin tone, and I'll show you on the thighs, we're looking at a yellow skin tone, and then the new one has more of a peach skin tone, a little less sickly. How are we doing on the eyes? Yeah. Well, hmm. If you have the original anime color version, you're gonna be in a better spot than buying this new one. Why, Sailor Tortilla? Original. First anime color release, convention exclusive. Current anime color release, retails around $55. Are those colors different? This is the original release, ignore that face. Pretend I put this on her, but I don't want to break her. That's the thing with these figures, they break for literally anything and you always lose your hands or your face, whatever. Original release was around 45 bucks. It's got these metal tones. First anime color release was about 50 bucks and she's definitely red. A couple fewer faces, but she still has the moon tiara. She still came with two moon sticks. And then you have the 2020 modern anime color release. The red is closer to burgundy. She has way fewer faces. Quite frankly, looking at these right now, I don't, I never enjoyed that. I was super happy they came out with that. And this is only whatever. So I know why you're here. And we're also gonna look at Sailor Mercury in a second. I haven't even brought out the villain variant of Sailor Moon, which is literally over here. Um, Bandai decided, uh, why make a new figure when all we gotta do is change the colors? Ta-da, that's where we're at. And I know why you're watching this video. You missed that release, it's too hard to get. You missed that release, it's too hard to get. And that's the only release that's in the store right now. Is it worth buying? Hell if I know. I actually never play with these figures. I've posed them one time, put them in my collection in the same single pose, and never touched them again. <laughs> For 55 bucks, you could get two of the new Sailor Moon prize figures. You could get two Q poskets. You could probably get a Proplica for the same amount as this. They really needed to re-release this one. <laughs> Real friends don't let their friends waste money on figures that aren't so great. But if you are buying this, there's only one place where you can get 10% off using code SAILORTORT, and that's at Entertainment Earth. Sailor Mercury in your beautiful brand new box. All right, let's get you out of there. I didn't buy the whole set because I don't personally like these. And if you're looking for honest Sailor Moon toy reviews, I guess I'm your girl. So here's Merc. Yeah, I'm seeing the skin tone. Ooh, bye. I'm seeing the skin tone looks like a very, very large improvement. Those colors are certainly different. But does it change what the way I feel about these? Old is on the left, new is on the right, and wow. This doesn't look healthy, man. Somebody's got jaundice. Oh my gosh, look at the boots. Boots, ladies. I like that they're shiny. I feel like they'd be shiny if the Sailor Senshi were real people. This bow looks lopsided to me. It's the same mold. Because the bow looks lopsided on both of them, actually. Oh, boy. They still haven't done the Super Sailor Senshi of the Outer Senshi, by the way. I'm gonna just let you peek out from the corner, so I say. If you really are dead set on getting these, let's talk about the stands. See how everything kind of falls all over the place? Oh, Christ. I wanna see this. Oh, it is different, okay. Here is the new stand. It's got a little silhouette of Usagi in her iconic pose. 
This is what the original stand looked like. It um, had a larger graphic, more hot pink. The second one was slightly different. It was red, it was bright, it was very loud. Um, really the opposite move uh, that they went for for this one. Mercury. It's also weird that for Sailor Mercury, they gave you this whole thing to organize the hands. And on Say, let them in. we're like, screw you, your hands can fall all over the place. That was kind of weird. This is the new SH Figure Arts Anime Color Sailor Mercury stand. It is very similar to Moon. It is kind of a low profile, not a lot of graphics there to decorate your display. Here's the old one, very similar to the original Sailor Moon. Lots of graphics, lots of designs. So did they improve the joints? People have criticized these figures in the past for having very loose joints. They don't really want to stay in the way you pose them often. They're loose. Um, the outer Sailor Senshi, I wanna say, had better joints, just a little bit, a little less loose, a little more stiff. Does this feel stiffer? newer and different yeah people are always scared to remove the hands because there's a little piece inside on lots of collectors figures that piece is broken and <laughs> you're kind of sol if that happens because you can never reattach a hand let's see if the stand was improved somewhat there's like an arm that holds the figure i'll show you this is the arm that will hold your figure by the waist or by the leg. Um, this is the old one. Not a lot of resistance there. This is the new one. I do feel a lot of resistance. I, this is yellowed over time. This is clear and brand new. Um, that's not to say that they haven't made any improvements, but a lot of the things that I'm complaining about are because of the age of the toy. Da, 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 da. Presumably you take an hour to do this. This is how I've decided to pose her. Amy wants to know, are you not entertained? Despite the fact that I don't think that they've made enough improvements to these figures, I do like the anime color and I really like it. Wish they didn't uh, bring up the price though. Why are you 55 bucks? Side note, and for real, I really, really, really underestimated how long it takes to set these up. I'm about an hour into filming and I only have these god-awful poses. <laughs> I've been trying to get the original Sailor Moon on her stand for about 20 minutes. I am an adult collector. I have owned this figure for six years. I don't play with it and it is impossible to get her on her stand in a reasonable way. She looks terrible. She looks so busted. These don't grab. This actually is so loose. It just, this is just deterioration over time. This stand was stiff when I got the toy, just like the new one is. I'm gonna, uh, okay, I'm gonna come back later. <laughs> Never ever take these out of the box. And also I broke the stand on my pinhead while filming this video. Mind you, hold on. For the price of two of those, you could just get an actual nice figure, okay? <laughs> I'm over it. Day three of filming, you could see a very big difference in the skin tones from Mercury there. You can immediately spot this one and this one as being new with the improved skin tone. I don't even wanna put these back in my collection, quite frankly. I am ready to sell all of these ladies. It is okay, except Zoe Sight, because I collect villains. Okay, what are we working with? Those are the different stands. That's the villain Sailor Moon. There's no excuse for the skin tone on that original Mercury. This one actually kind of looks like a bootleg and I know for a fact it is not, but that skin tone is absolutely disgusting. And then we have Sailor Moon. We got the original, the first anime release and the new anime release. 
on the colors. The skirts here look very similar, but the reds are definitely very, very different. The red, the maroon, whatever. The new one's all right. I, I'm kind of really hating on it. She is a little stiffer upon careful inspection. Mercury is also stiffer than the original Mercury, but again, how much of that is age related and how much of that can you avoid over time? Yeah, I've got a lot of paint defects on mine. Um, that's just across the board. Um, it's usually around the hip roll. This one's pretty good, um, all things considered. Oh my gosh, she looks so green. Where do you kind of fall in line? She slash he is pretty green as well, but that kind of made sense for this figure because this is supposed to be Zoisite. Uh, I, I don't mind the skin tone being garbage on this one. School bus yellow, banana yellow, and I don't know, Sunny D? Um, how do the joints look on the other ones? It's almost like mechanically they haven't changed anything. These are the exact same figures with the exact same joints. Um, I don't see a lot of improvements to build, except that it's stiffer, but that could also be because it's new. This one really is a huge improvement over that one. Anime Colored Mercury 100% is the one to get. Don't get me wrong. I just don't think that you should spend that much money on these because they're small and they're sad and they make me angry. <laughs> That's the comparison video. I can honestly say from the bottom of my heart that the SH Figure Arts line is a huge pain in the ass. Why you cry? Hmm? Okay, bye. I film now. I just want you to know that Scooby Snow. There you go, nestled in there, little baby.